What is up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to review some resumes that I found online and hopefully you will learn something new or find something insightful along my reviewing, critiquing, being mean process. Ready? Let's go. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. As we are going through all these UX resume design tips and processes, why not just make a video about reviewing others' resumes? You know what, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to review five resumes that I can find online. I'm going to set a timer for each one, so making sure we're not going to go over. You can find all the resumes that I will be reviewing today from the same website and you can see if you think about the same thing when you look at the resume, maybe I'm right, I could be wrong as well. So this is a website that I recommend for all of you to check it out. It's the bestfolios.com and you can find the resume tab slash resumes. I'm not sponsored, I wish I am. And maybe one day that will come. Um, this is website is just pretty nice. It has a lot of the portfolios that you can take a look at of how other students or professional designers working at uh, Facebook, Apple, or Google are approaching their design in resumes and portfolios. So maybe you can learn things or two from it. First, disclaimer slash warning. My comment might be mean or harsh. These are just the resumes I found online. I don't know them, this is not personal. I'm just giving my opinion based on how I will review a resume. Take what you think is insightful. Leave the mean slash harsh comment behind. During the review, if you find my comment too mean or too harsh, feel free to mute it for about three seconds and then go back to it. Ready? Let's dive right in. All right, three, two, one, action. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me put up this one. Uh, well, this is, has a big font. Let's try this one. Alison B. Let's see. Okay, super big topography about the name. I'm pretty clear that this person is an art director, graphic designer. And let me see. Okay, experience, content, education, skills. Okay, set up pretty nicely. One thing I will complain is the, the alignment. Uh, experience is not aligning with everything else that is under it, right? I know that it's kind of part of the indentation, but it could be done better. Alignment wise, if you look at it horizontally, the the first experience is not quite aligned with the hello Alison beer uh, again could have done better and I think the spacing between the section title and um, the content within the section is pretty big if you look at this one the ratio between this space here time's up next one well let's find one first and then do the countdown all right uh, okay let's see this one action so let's see jack stretchin okay let's forget about the names well first of all i feel like this is really clean and it has that minimalistic design that really reminded me of the apple branding you know like the name is in the title is in uh black font and then the subtitle is kind of a, a lighter gray which is uh, which is nice let me see okay uh, the alignment is pretty sharp right this is a two column view the second column is about half of the size of the first column everything aligned great tons of negative space uh, pretty good and uh, let me see i cannot spend too much time on the, the content but what i would say is each one is more like a paragraph than a bullet point so it would take some time for the recruiters to to read over it not quite ideal i have 10 seconds left let me see what else other achievements um uh, okay okay i think the spacing can be reduced a little bit more between the title and each one uh, so that each section is more compact ah uh, okay next action all right next zach freed or freed all right so the name it's, uh, it's pretty obvious the, the branding is the, the accent color is green which is um, pretty intentional i like it uh okay uh, let me see the vertical alignment is pretty sharp on this side um also aligned pretty well with all the tools and skills one thing that i will bring up is the section title um he or zach chose to make it um, horizontally aligned with the content which is which is one style you can totally do it uh, it's just because you do it this way or because Zach has done it this way it's trading off a um, lot of the the alignment that is between the different sections because right now 
because of uh, this section title uh, uh, jutted out, which creates some negative space that doesn't play well with the other spaces, if you, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and content-wise, time's up. Well, content-wise, still paragraphs should be bullet points, okay? Next. Action. Ling Jang, okay, so let me see. So, uh, Alignment-wise, the grid is pretty clear. So you have a smaller grid on the left side and the bigger grid for motor content on the right side. What I would say is my first glance at it, my first impression is I feel like a lot of co the content is pretty packed just because the, the, the text is so jammed into the section. Uh, the, alignment is, the alignment is pretty great. And I will further reduce the amount of content and maybe not use the the text justify because well I know because of that it gets a re it gets a really sharp right alignment but at the same time it spreads things out and it reads the whole thing as a block um, and then the, the message is a little lost just because the space in between words are different if the alignment is made for the right side why not align with uh, things here as well right in the education and skill section um, branding wise uh, you know Consistent branding, except that the accent color is not the same as the logo. Okay. Okay, next. Action. Wheel chain, all right. Um, alignment, pretty clear. Mostly because there's a lot of lines happening um, that is framing the structure well. Now, that's definitely one way or style to go with. Um, I personally would not go with them just because it will introduce noise unless that's your style and you have a reason to justify it. Um, but overall, uh, it's pretty clean, pretty nice portfolio link. It aligns with experience, even though I don't know if you need the portfolio to be its own section. And looking at the, the internships, Facebook, twice, excellent. Apple, Verizon, dude, this person is um, gonna win it. Skills, project skills, everything else, okay. Uh, I would say about the spacing between here, right, section education and Cornell University, that could be further reduced um, to make this section more compact and then maybe you don't even need the, the lines to separate the different content. <sighs> Done. Next. Keep scrolling. Action, I think this is the last one. Steven Song, okay. So at the first glance, uh, the spacing needs to be adjusted. Well, you need, I would prefer to see more space, small white space in this resume um, than the content. Um, the content seems nice. There are a lot of uh, internships, product designers, design manager, co-founders, pretty great, computational media. Uh, oh, Georgia Tech, oh, my undergrad, okay. I will say the, the paragraph length or width could be reduced more so that it's easier to read um, at one glance rather than letting my eyes to go from left to right for so much. And what else? So this, uh, this person actually uses the same um, section uh, style as the, other, as the other one I mentioned earlier. That use, that's make the education uh, not to the top but on the side of it. This is actually used well because um, everything, all the section has, all the section titles are aligned in this way. Um, which creates some white space here in a nice way. Yeah, Woo. time flies. One minute is definitely not enough to review a resume. So think about how will a recruiter get the most important information in six seconds. Just think about that. So yeah, I hope you learned something new. And again, I, this is not personal to any of the designers uh, out there on the resume. I'm just giving my opinions and my thoughts and my comments. I could be right or wrong. It's okay either ways. So take what you see is valuable, take what you think is useful, insightful, and apply it to your UX design resume writing. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful and insightful, please go ahead and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you wanna see more UX design videos like this, also consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content on the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers.